Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Disconnected, and allegedly this is this dev's first game ever made. They were just messing around in Unity Engine, and poof, they made a game, which always takes a lot of work. So let's see what their first attempts are all about. I don't really know anything about this game. The screenshots look really weird. It's all black and white, grayscale. It looks kind of creepy and eerie. So I don't know if this is a horror game, or if this is an adventure game or what the deal is, but let's go ahead and let's get started. I feel like this is going to be like a psychological game just based off of this home screen here. All right, so here we are. We're in an office, typing away. There's a bunch of lines everywhere. E, okay, I'll hit E. Sure, and I shove my chair back. Okay, oh, 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 what the heck? I'm a very pale naked man with a cord coming out of my neck. So that's what all those lines are. Okay, weird. All right, so it's like the Matrix? Or is this some sort of like, I guess, social commentary on being plugged in at like a call center or something? I have worked a call center job before in like a cubicle, and it's horrible. It's definitely like this, just rows of people all zoned out on their computers, all doing mindless, tedious work. If you have to work that kind of job, if you're someone who has that type of job right now, I am so sorry for you. It will get better, I promise. Go back to work. No, I don't want to do that. Eat my butt. That's all you have to say to me, huh? Okay. Eat my very exposed ass. There it is. Okay. Uh, you? Get back to work. Ah, oh, you too, huh? Is that all you guys can say, you mindless drones? Can't you think for yourselves? Hello? Can you see I'm busy? Uh, I can, but you don't have to be a dick about it. Just want to say hi or talk about the sports ball game. Didn't you see the sports ballers the other day? Those guys were doing great with that sports ball. Dot, dot, dot. That's all you got to say to me, huh? Work's more important than friendship. I see. I let you borrow my Alanis Morissette CD and you won't even talk to me. What a jerk. Okay, who's this guy? I'm working here. Hey, buddy, I'm working here. So what do I do here? Ooh, nice plant. Maybe I can pee in it. Now we'll get someone to come over and talk to me. Security, probably. All right, hello. Hi. Go work. No! Why is everyone trying to make me work? What if it's my pee break? What if it's my time to shine? Shh. No, you shh, buddy. Not now. Wow, everyone's really just cold. This is very dismal so far. What are you doing? I'm walking around and trying to find a, just a tiny, tiny ounce of human interaction. Please leave me alone. Oh, you sound just sad. I guess I'll leave you alone. I don't want to bug you anymore, make you more worried. Go back to your desk. I tried that. I've been, like, in my desk several times and nothing happened. Nothing different happened. Oh, this guy's got a post-it note. Hey, what's up, post-it note guy? Hello, sir. Hi. Whoa, what the frick? What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck indeed, dude? What's happening here? Hey, are you deaf? I need to get out of here. Yeah, seriously. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're bleeding everywhere. Holy shit. Oh, that's so weird that that's the only color. This guy's post-it note. Hello, sir. Uh... My arm came off when I touched you. You seem to have some sort of strange magnetism. Oh, God, that's gross. I'm putting blood everywhere. Hello, somebody, please. Literally anybody talk to me here, please. Hello, my cord brethren. Hello. You were all willing to yell at me before, and now no one... Okay, I'm busy. I'm busy, too. I'm bleeding everywhere. Hello. Hello. Uh, talk later. I can't talk later. I'm assuming I gotta go out this door, maybe. God, I'm leaving splotches of blood everywhere. Yeah, now I have the option to interact with it. Okay. That's something that happened. My arm randomly fell off. Hi. 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 I'm ble Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm bleeding all over the place. Holy shorts and pants. Am I gonna actually die from this? Is this, like, timed? I hope not. Hello? Oh, God. Why am I squirting everywhere? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to having only one hand and the other one be a bloody stump. I need help. Hello? I don't mean to squirt on you guys, but please help me out here. Seriously, I'm not used to this. Uh, uh, this is really weird and messed up that no one's reacting to me. Is this like a dream sequence, perhaps? Maybe. Hi. Oh, God, none of these doors are opening. Hey! 
Pay attention to me. Is the whole point of us having cords in our necks? Like, we're all drones, and as drones, these people just can't see me bleeding everywhere? They can't see me looking for help? They can't see my mighty need? I have a feeling that I have to go on the elevator. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Elevator time it is. Let's get the hell out of here. Holy God. This is really weird. I really like it so far, but it's very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Obviously, something a little bit more symbolic going on than what I'm just seeing. Maybe? I mean, maybe there's not. Maybe it really is just a story of a man who lost his arm in his desk job office. And, oh god, the music's getting all warpy and weird and creepy sounding. Like, the screen looks all horrible as well. It's all pixely. It's all fuzzy. It's got that sort of like old TV effect when like it's not quite focused. When the antenna is not on the right channel and then there's just like this general noise all over the screen that's bad. Uh, I need help. Hello, which way do I go? I really hope I don't like bleed out here or something. Be bad. Hello, anyone? Please stop smoking your cigarettes inside. First of all, some of us don't like that. Go outside to the designated smoking area. Please, you sir. Oh God. Yeah, I feel like so. I think what's happening here is people are just so just into their work. You know, this is the whole idea, like a commentary on office work, where it's just like when you work as a drone in one of these like big office settings, a lot. It's very easy to like lose your humanity and your individualism, and you just zone everything out, and you can't really pay attention to much that's going on around you, like a bleeding man. Walking through the halls. Hello. Literally anyone. I have a feeling none of these regular people. None of you people are going to be able to help me. You. You have a paper, sir. Please. Ah, uh -huh. what if I get blood on your report? Then what's your boss going to say about that TPS report? Huh? Huh? Oh, God. This is so weird. It's really bizarre. It's very un unsettling and off-putting. I can't take a seat on the bench, perhaps. Hello, please. Please, someone here in this big circle of friends. Someone be my friend. One of you, Smokies. Yeah. Uh, come on. One of you, Smokies. No? I guess I gotta go to the left. I don't know. It's so disturbing. Very unsettling. Just a man walking around in office. It reminds me of the Twilight Zone. Not only because it's black and white. And I, I really like the accents of the red from his blood. If that's a weird thing to say. But, like... Because of the fact that, like, this is such a bizarre scenario, there's no explanation, but it is also sort of, oh, this guy I can talk to. He's a little bit whiter than the rest, so we'll talk to him. But uh, it's, it's really interesting because, uh, much like Twilight Zone, there's, like, an underlying social commentary, like, hey, if you're an office worker, it's sort of like you're just a machine that's been plugged into the system, and you can't escape, and you can't see anything around you outside. So when one of you gains sentience and consciousness, and there's something wrong, you won't be able to pay attention to him. Sir, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. My freaking hand is a bloody stump. Get out of my way. I need to get out of here. Sir, you don't look so good. Yeah, you think? Uh, you don't think I look so good? Man with the bleeding profusely just... Uh, I, I am not doing well. I just said get out of my way. Get out of my way, dude. Oh, oh God. Uh -huh. That's what you get for pushing by someone. Ah, fuck. Yeah, now you're really screwed, dude. Hi, you did that, by the way. You made me... I could have easily walked around him right here. But instead, I lost my foot. Now I'm a, a bouncy boy. A very bouncy, bloody boy. I'm bleeding a lot more. I really hope this isn't timed. Okay. All right, I'm able to go through that. That's good. Hi. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just bleeding literally everywhere. Happen to be missing two limbs no one seems to notice that anything is out of the ordinary here, though, apparently. Hello. Okay, I have a feeling none of you are going to help me. God, what is this? Is this a road? Am I in, like, a crosswalk or is this a bridge? What is this? What do all of our cords lead to, also? I want to know that. God, this is so disturbing and bizarre. Really creepy game so far. Very eerie. Very, very off-putting. But I like it. I really do like it. So I can't go across there. These idiots are blocking the way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this man missing his head? No, no, he's not. Okay. His head just blends into his companion's body. So I thought that guy was missing a head and was just a wire. Can I go up this way? Ah, yes, I can. Good. Sweet salvation. Sweet escape, maybe. Oh, God. More crowds. More mindless drones. 
just so wrapped up in themselves and in their mundane day-to-day -day lives that they can't even notice someone who's hurt. Or maybe they do notice me, but they're just choosing to ignore me, which is an another awful social commentary because, I mean, if this really is a social commentary game, it's definitely sort of uh, pointing to the idea of us ignoring other people and their need for help. Oh, God. Wait, what's happening here? Uh, oh, am I trying to yank my cord out? My good hand? All right, we do. We can do it. Ah, this is weird. Do it. Do I have to jam on the button? Oh, I did it. Whoa, wait, what? And my limbs grew back. Yes, I am fully a man again. Man, and I can go so fast. I'm never, ever going to take running for granted. Holy crap. Okay. So wait. So it was like I was saying, like, it's sort of like the Matrix where they're plugged into a machine and it's like a simulation. Maybe unplugging myself. Now I'm in the real world and I know. Oh, wait, what? What's happening here? Oh, this is like surveillance tape of me. Who's been watching me this whole time? Who was watching me and then not helping me? Ah, someone at a desk. Are we going to find out? Oh, security is going to come after me. Oh, smoking a cigarette. Enjoying yourself there. Enjoying the show, buddy. It's the last time you get to watch it because I'm out of here. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, so many people at their desk. Are these the cubicles from the beginning? Is this what we were doing the whole time? Was monitoring each other, perhaps? And I happen to disconnect from the system, thus disconnected. Whoa, that was a cool game. It was a really cool game. So like, that was it, though. It's over. It was very short. Said on the game page it was going to be like five to ten minutes, and I think we got about that much out of it. That was a fun little experience. Definitely some sort of social commentary going on there. Uh, it's almost like a dystopian society where it looks like workers monitor each other and themselves to a degree. They're all plugged into some sort of like hive mind machine, which makes them oblivious to those in need. And my character was maybe falling apart. The simulation was breaking as he escaped and he found his freedom away from everything but that was disconnected really cool little game hopefully you guys enjoyed this one you can try it out yourselves for free down below in the description i'll leave a link over to the itch.io page and you guys can leave some comments as well as to what you thought of this game but anyway hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to hit the like button share the video and favorite it also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world i love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing ya bye bye Sir Piggly.